Wearing bags on your head is now cool. Kevin Hart and Regina Hall star in About Last Night. And teen mom Farrah Abraham is back in the head. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm Jackie Johnson. And I'm Gigi Dubois. And this is Gossiper. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. You are all my loves, which is why I wore pink. And I wore green because I hate love. Oh, that's lovely. Just in time for Valentine's Day, about last night, starring Kevin Hart and Regina Hall hits theaters today. Fun fact, everyone, this is actually a reboot of the 1986 version starring Rob Lowe and Demi Moore. I cannot imagine dating somebody back in 1986. How can you date someone when you can't creep through their Facebook photos first? Exactly, Catfish is real. Ooh. Vibe.com interviewed the two stars and asked them about the importance of intimacy in a relationship. And how important is sex to a relationship from one to five? You know, five. Five? You go yeah. five, very important. So you say a man ain't doing what he's supposed to do in that room, you can't be with him. Can I say Regina Hall is amazing? She's hysterical. She's so funny and she puts Kevin Hart in his place. Well, you can check out that full interview at vibe.com. Another great Valentine's Day movie hitting theaters this weekend is RoboCop. Now this is my kind of Valentine's Day movie. Uh, no romance, just violence. I can see all the disappointed girlfriends now. You bought tickets for what movie? And then she's gonna beat him over the head with those 9.99 flowers he bought on the way to pick her up. However, I have to say that if a girl brought her boyfriend to RoboCop, probably be getting a ring. Most deaf. That is the kind of girl that you take home to mama. If I didn't hate love so much, I would love that comment. So what movie are you guys planning on seeing this weekend? Let us know in the comments below. We want to know! I do, because I want to see it too. A top story on thefrisky.com this week, Teen Mom star Farrah Abraham is back in the headlines again! Oh, Abraham first appeared on the MTV series 16 and Pregnant, then went on to star in four seasons of Teen Mom, and now... She's on VH1's Couples Therapy. Abraham, who bared all she's got for $10,000, said she's tired of feeling used by the adult film industry. Oh. Her change of heart just in time for the release of Farrah 2. Yes! Now she's telling us that she wants to take a vow of celibacy. She even told Life & Style, and I quote, I want to be a virgin forever, or a nun. Honey, you were on a show titled Teen Mom. Mom is in the title. Farrah, my sweet little baby Farrah, we know you have a kid and further proof there's film of you making a baby, so we know you're not a virgin and the nuns aren't gonna want you, honey. No, no. <laughs> so now we're supposed to believe that she's closing up shop for good? I would be so happy if she did. I watched every episode of Teen Mom. Farrah used to have natural, tasteful boobs and big silicone dreams. She wanted to be a model and she wanted to open up her own restaurant. And if you wanna be on a reality show so bad, then go apply to be on Top Chef. Get your clothes on and put on that chef's coat now. Yes, don't you see her chopping shiitake mushrooms and oh, giving dude. everybody attitude? Dude, I see a cookbook coming out with juicy breasts on the cover. Yes. Not hers though. Yeah, chicken. Yeah. Tasteful. Of course, tasteful. tasteful. For those of you who want a sneak peek at part two of Farrah's uh, sequel, <laughs> then you can check out our link to Egotastic in the description below. And don't worry, we won't tell anybody if you click on it. And we actually, haven't seen it. We haven't seen about? the first one. I don't own it. <laughs> I don't watch it every night. No. For, for tips and tricks. <laughs> Okay, so I read an article on celebbuzz.com and now Jackie and I are going to do some on-the-scenes investigative reporting about Shia LaBeouf and his hashtag I'm sorry campaign. That's right. For the past few weeks, Shia has been tweeting daily, I am not famous anymore. And he even wore a paper bag over his head to the Berlin Film Festival last week with that message written across it. That's so weird. He be cray. So weird. Straight up cray. And now he's involved in a performance piece in an art gallery in Los Angeles. He sits in a room with you with the bag over his head and you can bring him artifacts from a table full of Shia themed goodies. And I know how crazy that sounds, but it's for real y'all. He, right now, is down the street in an art gallery, and Gigi and I are going. We are going to see Shia as soon as we are done taping this. I've always wanted to sit one-on-one -on -one with a celebrity for my journalism career, of course. Right. Shia, <laughs> you can say you aren't famous all you want, but you are famous, honey, and we are about to go see you, and I'm probably going to sing to you. I think I'm going to do Halo from Beyonce. You can do but that. But we'll see. I just hope he accepts your rose like on The Bachelor. I really hope so too. I, I can't take any more rejection. I think rejection. he'd be a good Bachelor. If Farrah can be on Top Chef, Shia can be on The Bachelor. <laughs> well, that's Gossiper for this week. Have a happy Valentine's Day, and I hope nobody points out on, on uh, YouTube that one of my bangs has been sticking up this whole show. <laughs> Let us know if you're surprised with anything romantic this weekend too, okay? Please like us, subscribe, and check out more videos below. Please do. My bangs probably look good in those. <laughs>
<laughs> These are such an inconvenience. What do you look like without bangs? Show me. Yeah, you're not bad. <laughs> <laughs>